All right, so I fairly successfully moved my full focus planner and other paper planners into Notion. I was going to show you how I did that. Uh, you see here the four main things, the daily, weekly, quarterly, and annual goals. Uh, but before I dig into those, I want to show you a couple other things I have set up. Um, I have a task list set up similar to as others have done. Um, just a task database and a project database kind of linked together. And if I add a task, I can choose which project it's a part of and vice versa. Nothing too fancy there. Um, this is actually filtered down to nothing right now. But um, you, know, you can view all your tasks and do different things there. So I have all my tasks in here. Again, as most have suggested, you should have a single tasks database. Then just filter and sort it out different places as you see fit. And then also in my personal section, I have a journal um, that I'm not real consistent about. I just got this going again. I had a different one before. I've kind of started from scratch here. Uh, but every day I do a new journal. I'm going to add a few more things in here, I think. But title it, choose which actual day it was, then kind of answer just a few questions. These kind of come and go, but just some good questions to get the journal going there. So that's the journal. Uh, so those both pull into the planner. But the main planner, again, is here. And so the four parts to it. Annual goals is just a static page. Um, just, just kind of list the annual goals. I'll probably just kind of push them down lower as I get new ones next year. Uh, just a place to, to look back and see what's going on there. Quarterly has an embedded database and then a few static pages. Well, a few other pages, not static. Some are static, some not. Uh, so when I do a quarterly review, I can say new quarterly review. I have a template set up for that. Um, oops, okay, quarterly review. Um, and again, give it a title, give it the date, range, whatever, and kind of work through. Biggest wins, progress on annual goals for this quarter. So I'll plug those back in, see what percent I was, uh, what percent I've completed there, uh, what worked, what hasn't, will I keep doing, improve, stop, you know, just kind of the general quarterly review kind of stuff. And then, of course, you're also supposed to review your annual goals, review that quarterly calendar, just to kind of look ahead, see what's coming up for the next quarter, look at the idea week, and look at daily rituals. So in here, I also have that high-level quarterly calendar, and this is really just a high-level forever calendar, just kind of first day of school, word camp, birthdays, you know, just bigger events, not, not details, but again, kind of like that calendar in a planner, like the full focus planner, uh, working that kind of stuff out. Then I also have my ideal week, which I played with this a lot, trying to do as a gallery in different ways, and as it is now, it's just a static page. I found it a page with seven columns and kind of dragging things in really worked pretty well. Let me keep things lined up nicely. My problem I had was things kind of drifting out of line as I went further in. I put Kanban charts and all that, and this has worked pretty well. I need to finish getting it filled out. Um, but yeah, all in all, I'm pretty pleased with that and trying to work on it and really trying to work on it too, getting my you know workouts and running, you know, kind of bobbing back and forth there, getting that consistent, kind of figuring out everything. So it's coming along, but I found in testing just a static page with columns seems to really work pretty well. Uh, and then the rituals is just a static page with some columns just for that. And again, I can edit those as I see fit and look at them quarterly. Uh, the meat of it is weekly. So daily I have as a um, database for all the, the days that come into the calendar. But really, I don't do much in here. Um, it all sort of happens in the weekly view. And I'll show you what I mean here. So weekly, and again, I've only done a couple so far. Had a blank one I was playing with earlier. So we'll do a new um, new week. And so we'll call this whatever we want, December you know, um, actually I should look and see what the dates would be for a next, a next one. We'll say yeah, September 16th through 22nd. So, um, 16th through 22nd. So we'll call it, you know, September 16th through 22, 2019. Okay. Weekly big three tasks I want to work on. So just type in whatever I want here. Um, then I have, and really before I go much further, I'll open this as a page. Give me more room to work. I'll open it as a page. So now it's going to pull in the daily daily cards for each day. And of course, I haven't done them yet for this week, so it's because the filter is still old. So now my filter, of course, here I'm doing September 16 to 22. So I will filter September 16 through September 20. And actually, I'm only going to go through the 20th for here. I just want to show the weekdays for now, so the first five days. Um, and then I can add a new card for that and give it a daily schedule card. So in here it's just events and notes. So again, the big three tasks for the day. So this would be you know, Monday, September 16, 2018. The big three for the day, whatever my big three tasks are, you know, meeting, whatever, you know, whatever you have going on there. Any other events you have going on, you have that luncheon and drive, drive to dance for your daughter, or whatever you're gonna do, any other notes you have throughout the day. So you have all that stuff, it makes a card. And as you work through your day setting up the week, you set up your five cards. So we have Tuesday the 17th. With nothing on it for now. Um, then we have Wednesday. Let's do these real quick. The 18th. 
and Thursday the 19th, and then Friday the 20th. So there's those. It fits nicely in there. Those five do with the extra new card I don't really need. Tasks this week, pulling from my tasks database. And again, I need to adjust the filter on this. So we'll adjust it to be for the 16th through the 22nd, which there aren't any. Actually, I guess there is one. Set it, work on setting up G Suite with those folks later. Um, pulling in from that high-level calendar. So again, we'll adjust the filter here. And, and maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong, but it'd be nice if there was a way to say, hey, here's the dates for all the databases on this page. Adjust them all accordingly, but it doesn't make a big, big difference. So have pulling the events this week. And then journal entries for the week. Um, so again, we'll adjust the date range on that through 22nd. And so again, each day I'll come in here. I could go into the journal, but really I can just work on it from here. So I can say new journal entry, daily journal, fill out the stuff, whatever I want to do. You know, Monday, September 16th is when I did this. <laughs> and there's September 16th. And I have this pull um, a cover image too. So I did a cover, of whatever. You know, kind of pulls the cover image in there. And again, in the small view, I've already set the properties um, to show the page cover and to be small. And so that'll fit five across with the, the one empty blank there. And then weekend just pulls in the two more of the daily cards, but just for the weekend as a separate view. And so again, we want to filter just the weekend. So the 20th and 21st. And I made these large cards because they fit there. So we'll work our two weekend cards, which... I almost need a different weekend schedule, you know, tool in here. But um, again, we can still have still have this going. So Saturday, yeah, twenty first. Not sure how I manage that. Oh yeah, that's the the range there. Um, and then Sunday, you know, twenty second. And again, fill out the cards with goals for the day, with the schedule, with notes, whatever I want to do, and have that stuff there. And then the other stuff from the full focus planner in here. The biggest wins from the week. You know, did all this, did all that. How far did you get in the big three? What worked? What didn't? What will we improve? Start or stop? All that kind of stuff. So it makes it pretty easy to work through all that. I played a lot with the daily look quite a bit. Um, I had it just as columns, which worked well. But I found part of what worked well with the paper planner was digging into each day, like turning that page in the planner a week ahead and really looking at that page separately, looking at that day separately. So having this gives me the opportunity to say, okay, for that Tuesday, let's just kind of make this, everything's focused on Tuesday. What's going on? What's the schedule looking like? What are the things I want to focus on? You know, really focus on Tuesday for a while before I say, okay, Tuesday's good. So, you know, now let's go back to Wednesday and figure out what's going on there. Um, so we can drop our way back and then focus on Wednesday and kind of work our way through the week. So having them just in lists here was, is fine and could work. Um, I've done that, but th this just seems to work better for that. Um, yeah, and that's really kind of how it looks. So again, I do have the, the daily piece in here, but I don't really work on that. Uh, but then what I've done on the weekly, too, I have my main overview of just my home screen is boring but very effective at this point. I have all that, and I had been adding just a link to the current week here, but instead I add just a link. I favorite them up here. So I still have, today is the first I'm recording this, so I'm actually at the end of this week, but I've also set up the next week, so I've done it there. So when I'm done, um, if I'm in my planner, you know, when it's time to go, I can go to weekly, pull up that new week we made um, in here make it a favorite, and then it'll be sitting at the top. And then again, in theory, uh, as those disappear, I'll get rid of the old ones. So most everything I need is at home. I can kind of deal with all my ongoing stuff. And then when I look at the week at a glance, just pull that up and I get the whole week. There's my goals I'm looking at. There's my daily look, the tasks, all that kind of stuff. Um, on my home screen here, the tasks automatically pull in what's due today or previously, um, which is kind of nice. That's really what's more important than what's going on this week. But it's still just nice to look at, ah, here's the stuff coming up this week I'll need to worry about. Um, just again, get kind of a look at the week, but now let's focus on today. And if I wanted to, I could say, okay, the other view for today would be to go in here and then click on, you know, whatever today is and see the big three and work on that. Um, I guess I could perhaps favorite each day up there instead. Um, if this was today, I could favorite the day and have it just always sitting there with the day view for me to keep a quick look on. And then each morning, just, you know, unfavorite that and add the new one in. Actually, I may do that. That could be kind of interesting if I can use this properly, if I use the notes and all that sort of stuff effectively. But all in all, this this is working pretty well. This is my first, I did my I do my weekly planning on Friday afternoons. I found that from that before breakfast podcast, uh, Laura Vanderkam does. A great tip I got from her was to do the weekly planning on Friday afternoons because typically I have time there, but also if I need to confirm meetings for the next week, people are still around, I can have the week planned before the weekend comes. So I'm not worried about the next week during the weekend because I've already got it planned out and stuff. It works well. Uh, so this was the first Friday a couple days ago that I did my weekly review 
in Notion instead of in the paper planner, and it worked pretty well. I did a lot of tweaking. It took a lot longer than normal because I was adding more things and tweaking, and I'll continue to do that, I'm sure. But um, yeah, that's a quick look at how it works, so I hope that's helpful.